Global, a project funded by the European Commission, is carried out by a consortium of 15 institutional partners from around the world. We've been tasked with creating a global network of social sciences for preparedness and response to infectious threats. That includes both epidemics and the development and spread of antimicrobial resistance. We're a network of networks. Our mode of operation embraces governance from the ground up, although we recognize that top-down governance is at times important. But Sonra Global is so much more than a project or a consortium. We're a global network of social scientists. So although we began in 2019, we now have over 550 members, as well as a diversity of networks from around the world. And our great strength, I think, comes from the fact that our members, their experience, dynamism, and interests really contribute to our collective work. So regional hubs focus on a specific theme, a theme of interest in that specific region. I head up the Bangkok Regional Hub, and we focus on antimicrobial resistance. Antimicrobial resistance is a huge problem in Southeast Asia, and it disproportionately affects the poorest communities. Here, there's a lot of inappropriate use of antibiotics, and it makes sense to gather everyone who's working on antibiotics, whether as a researcher or as a practitioner, so that we can share ideas and further develop our collaborations. So Bangkok isn't the only regional hub. We have one in Dhaka and another one in Kiev. In the Kiev regional hub, we focus on um, vaccine hesitancy. And in Dhaka, we focus on uh, providing training uh, to work on epidemic preparedness. One SONA global activity is to adapt a vulnerability assessment tool and appropriate community engagement models among multiple partners in preparation and response to epidemics. The COVID-19 uh, pandemic has intensified the need to appreciate and understand uh, vulnerable and marginalized populations to ensure that they are genuinely supported. Community engagement is very important in support of such uh, vulnerable groups. However, it cannot be done uh, if you do not understand who is part of a community or who is not part of a vulnerable community. I can tell you a team from Macquarie University Social Science School that I led uh, had the opportunity to conduct a vulnerability assessment through actionable research. As such, I can say strongly that the evidence we collected might be the only systematic data on vulnerability. So the SONA Global will now train uh, multiple country teams on analytical processes of some of this data. And uh, our Mercury team will thereafter um, implement a community engagement intervention over several months. Now, once we have implemented this uh, these recommendations following a testing phase, our vulnerability assessment will then uh, approach will then be available on the SONA Global website. Uh, for any successful epidemic preparedness and emergency response, I think it is very crucial to engage community. Uh, that is, uh, the community should have an active on-ground role, not only in defining the problem, but also in um, identifying the solutions that are feasible to such emergencies. Uh, but the problem uh, is that community's definition itself is never evident. You do not know whom to include, uh, as you do not know who is excluded or marginalized. And for that, um, conducting a vulnerability assessment as an initial step is critically important. And in Bangladesh, we will be conducting a vulnerability assessment from Sonar Global in coming months. And we are um, uh, targeting our assessment around the experience of COVID-19 pandemic. 
Bangladesh actually has a rich history of community engagement driven programs. And after our assessment, uh, we will put our results into dialogue and uh, compare uh, uh, and evaluate it, uh, the evaluation that we have done around community engagement and infectious disease. We want to develop a deliberative dialogue based model actually, and for that, um, we want to involve the local leaders from different sectors um, to uh, develop our policy recommendations. Solar Global's aim is to strengthen capacity of social scientists, especially in low and middle countries, income countries. In Dakar, we have developing training tools for the social science and epidemics. Uh, because after the West African Ebola epidemic and during the current COVID pandemic, we have recognized that social scientists must participate in research on emerging inf inf infectious risks. So we have developing a curriculum for social scientists who want to update their knowledge and skills on diverse themes related to epidemic. We are also working on a second curriculum, this one addressing the social aspect of epidemic management. Our ambition is for this curricula to bring more social science intelligence into epidemic response and to facilitate collaboration among social scientists and between social scientists and other actors, especially in low and middle countries. We have been working on two curricula for antimicrobial resistance at the Amsterdam Institute for Global Health and Development. And the curricula are open access resources uh, for trainers uh, on the relevance of the social uh, dimensions of AMR. Our specialized social science curriculum starts uh, with basic information on microbes and resistance. It explores the role of people and public infrastructures, and systems and environments, as well as institutional policies on AMR. Um, the operational AMR curriculum uh, takes the social dimensions in practice. It addresses how to make the social dimensions of AMR more visible with an uh, operational focus on, on hands-on application to change. Those are the two curricula that we've developed. Um, one resource already available on the Sonar Global website is our mapping of AMR and uh, epidemic social science training worldwide. This database includes about 271 trainings, 45 on AMR, 147 on epidemics, and 46 covering both. Finally, Sonar Global has produced podcasts, which we call Epicasts, led by our partner IDS, uh, and we host French and English language webinars. Our resource page uh, on our website includes uh, readings, vocal reflections from various specialists from social sciences and uh, from around the world. So we have run uh, multiple webinars in English and French addressing uh, social questions around the pandemic and we've got a podcast with more contributions coming soon. Our social sciences uh, of epidemic training has been revamped to address COVID-19 as well. And finally, in Sonar Global, we have catalyzed uh, multiple new projects and research collaborations around the world in France, uh, the Netherlands, in Thailand, and among several uh, countries in West Africa. Our network is a young and expanding one, but our ambitions are several. To provide some tested and tried tools for social scientists, to strengthen social science's capacity, particularly in low and middle income countries, and to channel support to our regional hubs, which are really the best position to foster new, creative, cross-disciplinary ways of preparing for and coping with epidemics and AMR.